Attorneys David Siegel and Jesse Barrientes discuss divorce and family law. Be sure to stay tuned because at the end of this short video, you will have the opportunity to request a free copy of their book, Divorce and Family Law, Who Has the Legal Right When Things Go Terribly Wrong? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that tactic of, of somebody going in and filing kind of a quasi-meritless order protection action just so that they get the order that separates the spouse and the children that's right from that spouse and it kind of sets the stage for I don't want to say sole custody but you almost de facto have it if the 21 day order kicks in and then it gets extended that's right that's why it's important if you're gonna and again remember what I was talking about before about getting the transcript that's why that you know kind of becomes important however in a lot of the counties depending upon where you're at if somebody has filed an order of protection because you get a different judge there's a judge that's assigned to do orders of protection and then there are the divorce judges who handle the divorce cases. So in a uh, particular county, the rules are different. But generally what will happen is if an order of protection is filed and then subsequent to the order of protection before the hearing on the order of protection, if a dissolution of marriage action is filed, then what will happen a lot of times is that order of protection judge will transfer it to the judge that is going to hear that case. Call now to request a free copy of the book divorce and family law. You may also call to schedule a free initial consultation 847-520-8100 847-520-8100